It's a quiet Friday in Axbridge, the medieval town square, quieter than usual. The old almshouse cafe is shut, like it is every Friday, and not because the owners don't want to open. Yes, of course we'd like to be open selling cakes and coffees and serving the local community, yes. Um, but unfortunately the VAT rules mean that we, we, we just can't. So what is this mysterious VAT rule that keeps this cafe closed? The day before, all was bustle. Teas and cakes, sandwiches and jackets, the tills ringing. And to help me explain how the VAT rules hold his business back, Steve has brought me a tray of cakes. Thank you, Steve. Now, each of these lovely cupcakes represents £10,000 worth of takings. I know, they're good cupcakes. Not profit, takings. So this cafe can take one, two, three, four, five, six, ninety thousand pounds every year without having to pay or charge any VAT. But here's the snag. Take one more cupcake, another ten thousand pounds, and the tax man gets interested. VAT is levied on the whole lot. And they want this one back. And crucially, two thirds of another cupcake. In fact, they're worse off than they were before. Until we turn over more than 140,000, we wouldn't make any more money than when we turn over 90,000, which is crazy. It's not a way of growing the economy, employing more staff and taking more people out of the un unemployment um, drain. And of course, it's not just this tea shop. The Federation of Small Businesses, or FSB, has urged the Chancellor to put the VAT threshold up from 90 to 100,000 pounds. The FSB did a survey only earlier this year that showed four in ten out of businesses that are on or around the VAT threshold are saying it's a disincentive to grow. They don't want to get over that VAT threshold to start have to suddenly pay quite a lot of tax. So, unfortunately, this is a very common experience. The case is made. We'll hear what Rachel Reeves thinks of it on Wednesday. Dave Harvey, BBC Points West, Axbridge in Somerset.